Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it's a great pleasure to welcome the President, uh, Mr. Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, and the High Representative for this press point here. The High Representative will say a few words of introduction, then we'll ask the President to speak. Thank you. Well, Mr. President, can I say how delighted I am to welcome you to Brussels on what I believe is your first trip to Europe. Over the last two years, we have seen that Somalia has come a long way. I pay tribute to the people of your country who have struggled hard and made great sacrifices to break out of the cycle of violence and instability. And it is wonderful to see you're at the beginning of a new era under the leadership of you, Mr. President, and your team. I'm proud to say that the, the relationship between the European Union and Somalia has helped to lay the foundations for this progress. We have stood by the Somali people for the last 20 years and we commit to stand with the people for the future. We're going to be organising a conference in Brussels this autumn which will come up with a new deal for Somalia that will help to deliver the political, security and development support that I know, Mr President, you need and that we wish to help you attain. This will bring together the international community and will offer support for the people of Somalia in ways that best serve their interests. Our teams are working hard to prepare this event and discussing with our partners to achieve a practical and durable solution for Somalia. We've seen already many recent successes, a new government, a parliament, and the adoption of a provisional constitution, and to see more and more Somalis returning home to help to rebuild their country. That does not mean we're at all complacent. We know there are many, many challenges ahead and much hard work to be done to cement this lasting progress. We recognize the complexity of Somalia's transition. Mr. President, I was in Mogadishu last August and I saw how the city is being transformed and I felt that real sense of optimism and hope in everyone that I had the privilege to meet and talk to. I'm delighted, too, that largely due to the Operation EU Atalanta, piracy has fallen by 95% in the last year. We have seen that Al-Shabaab has been considerably weakened, but we recognise they are still a threat to peace and security. And we were reminded of that only earlier this week. And that's why efforts to continue to consolidate improvements in security must continue and why security must remain a priority. That means not only for Somalia, but across the region. A stable region and a peaceful Somalia are interdependent. And it's why it's so important that we've developed the comprehensive approach that involves political engagement, financial support to Amazon, trade and development aid, and the work of our three missions in the region to fight piracy, to train the Somalian army, and help the countries of the region build maritime security. Much progress is already made, Mr. President, but just the beginning. And we look forward to Somalia meeting all its obligations with regard to human rights. And this, of course, will be an issue I will raise and discuss with the President shortly. But let me end as I began. I assure you, Mr. President, that you can count on the European Union to be a committed partner long into the future. And I again express my delight to see you here with your team in Brussels today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Baroness Catherine Ashton. Uh, I'm very pleased with the kind words that you said, but we have the experience that the level of commitment that Lady Baroness Catherine Ashton has indicated is she went to Somalia last year, as she rightly said now, where a time Somalia was no-go zone for most of the international leaders and uh, she was few of the prominent international leaders that visited Somalia and her visit and the role of the European Union in ending the transition was, was a step that without which the transition would have never ended as smoothly as it was ended. And, and it's this that I'm here today, that combined effort whereby the European Union has played a major role as a partner and donor to Somalia was there. On top of that, I would like to say thank you, uh, Promise Catherine, for 
the unwavering support of the European Union to Somalia for over two decades now. The support of the European Union has saved millions of lives of Somalia and has created hope for more millions in, in Somalia by providing educational opportunity, health opportunity, uh, clean water and sanitation. These were what makes Somalia still in place. And I would like to say thank you very much. For the recent history of Somalia, part of the problems was not only a Somali problem, but also an international problem. As you rightly indicated, the piracy was one of the major problems that Somalia was making. To, it, it was a problem to Somalia, as well as to the international community. The role of European Union, as rightly she said, has drastically declined the level of piracy in our seas. But at the same time, for the short period that we were in office, we also did a lot of work on that direction, whereby we engaged the community of these young boys who adventured into the seas, and whereby we have opened a dialogue with the ring leaders of the piracy. Six, three weeks back, six of the people that were detained for three years by the piracy has been handed over to the Somali government, and we release it, and they, and they, and they happily join it to their families. And now there are more discussions going on whereby we are expecting most of the people, the young generation who are involved in the piracy, will denounce the, 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 the piracy. And this is again where we need the support of the European Union to make better life and decent life for those young boys of Somalis, to make them a useful force for the reconstruction of Somalia. Madam, the other way is the European Union, as rightly said, has been supporting the security sector of Somalia, and it still is going on. But this time, as we have discussed earlier with many European leaders who visited Somalia, we need a different approach, a different level of engagement, where we want most of the trainings to take place inside Somalia, and the training facilities that have been established for Somalia, outside Somalia now, should be relocated into Somalia. And that's now the, the different dimension and level that the issue of training the security forces. Somalia is not only focused. Security is our number one priority, but it's not security alone. Security, hand in hand with judiciary reform, to have a reliable and acceptable justice in Somalia, and the reform of public finance institutions to make Somalia a credible partner in the development and when it comes to but this is again an area where we have been continuous discussion with the European Union and we are very much grateful the level of responses and the level of support we are receiving so far. Regarding our regional uh, countries or neighboring countries, the last couple, three months we have been engaged with a continuous dialogue with our regional partners and neighboring countries in, in particular. And the responses we are having so far from our neighboring countries is very positive. We already established a mechanism that we can collaborate through which joint cooperation commission, both with Kenya and with Ethiopia, where we are going to address the issue of security, cross-border security issue, the issue of trade, the issue of refugees, the issue of economic integration in the long term. Somalia has been in a relief stage for a long time, and this is where the European Union and other parties have played a lot a great role. Now, my government has put in place a plan where we want to move the country from relief to recovery, and then on from reconstruction and development. I am very much grateful about the role of the European Union. Again, as she rightly indicated that in the Ottoman there will be a conference for Somalia whereby the, Euro the European Union will play a lead as it has been in the past. We still, this is a major area where we want the European Union to play a leading role in the reconstruction of Somalia. Somalia is a, it, as, as, as I said today, earlier this morning, Somalia is where Europe was in 1945. Everything is zero. Everything has to be started from scratch. And we cannot do it alone. 
We need the support of the international community and in particular the support of the European Union and we have the confidence and the trust that we will get that support. Madam, thank you very much again and I appreciate your continuous and unwavering support. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. You have to move upstairs for your meeting now, but thanks very much thank indeed, you. Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you.